It's Monday, November 20th, and we're going to talk about the Shadow Club and what happened and this is homework, which luckily in this class we did not have much of in my other classes. We got a lot of them. No tie game this week since uh, we only have today and tomorrow, so you'll just have to deal with me being in t-shirts. He'll survive. Uh, Shadow Club test is tomorrow. I do have a review thing for you. And we'll possibly get a chance to take a look at some questions we have to talk about. IXL, I am not giving you another IXL until next month. Uh, we have no homework for me over break. Go. Discussion questions. I enjoyed Friday's talk. Thank you much. Um, as long as we keep having good discussions, I will keep trying to have discussions. And we had good discussions on Friday, so I was pretty happy with it, so I was good. And so I think we should be fine there. Speaking of discussions, let's talk today. Oh, class. If you would like, sorry, damn my ball, uh, help on test. I have a review guide. If you go to Canvas and then go to today, there's one that says shadow review guide. It is just a test I used like six or seven years ago. Uh, it's a 50 question test, uh, but at least it gives you an idea. If you can answer the questions on here, you should be good to go for the thing tomorrow. If not, then just skip around and take a look at it and see how much you know. If you read story and you read all of it, then you pay attention today. You should be fine. I'm not overly worried. But you can go back and look at it just to make sure you can refresh your brain. Tomorrow, I'm looking at around 30 questions. It'll probably be around 50 to 60 points. There are two grammar questions. Um, one from adverbs and one from adjectives, because I figured you guys just spent an IXL doing adverbs and adjectives, so if you already know that, I'll try to give you <coughs> excuse me, test questions. So as long as that, you should be good. Questions over that part. Mm. Malik? Mm. So basically, if you answer every single question on that thing, is that like the actual question on the quiz? Not necessarily. Some may be, but not all. Is the Barbier like the audible mention in the video? No, I'm not going to get bare honorable mention in the video. Wow. Let me get one. Ah, then, Shadow Club. So don't worry, your honorable mention is coming up in just a moment. Here, I am collecting books after break because some kids are going to want to use their book over break if you want to redo tests. Because I will give you the two attempts, and if you want to go back and fix it, you may. If you've lost your book, you are going to have to replace it. If you've shredded your book and ripped off the front cover, you are also going to have to replace it. So this is where the honorable mention comes in for those who may or may not have ripped off the front cover of their book. It costs $10 for a replacement book, or you can just spend two points every day until the end of the year. It only costs you 10 points a week, uh, but then eventually, hopefully, you get it turned in and we can be nice to you from that one. Hey, Bob. Um, what if you take the, the back to the, the front, the... Yeah, that's looking pretty shredded there. You get, I swear, you you didn't give me, I got like an old one, and this was like that before. Hmm, interesting. Mm. Wait, you should like have some... Up here? This is a little shredded. Uh, shout out, you want to hold yours up? Shout out, hold shoes up. Oh, that shredded. <laughs> but I, don't you Wait, take it back? Take it back on. Don't you take it back? So, so, that's what we did to mine. Mr. Borgian, can I take it back on? I don't know. That's how good it looks. It'll be kind of tough. And hello, Malik. So. No. So this does not impact grade. This is just helping me with discussion. How many of you guys finished book? Read till end and you know what happens. All right. So for those of you who finished book and read it to the end, is this a book I should keep teaching? Yes! yes. yes. So For sure. my goal is, because what I'm told is that I have to teach a book. I'm not told what book I have to teach, just that I have to. So I get to pick the book. And so my goal is, if this is a book that kids like, I'd like to do it until kids stop enjoying it. So ending of it is worth it as far as all action and yes. stuff like that. And perfect. All right, I wanted to make sure. Hummel. Can the book be like a picture book? Right, that's why I don't call them kids. Mm -hmm. It can be, but we call that first grade. The problem is we're not in first grade. If you want to go yeah, back to first grade, grade, you can, absolutely. How? It's just called failing. Jared? Okay. So. <laughs> okay. 
I think we do the picture book, but the what the pictures are actually. Wait, can I tell you no. And so, like, are we are we still gonna read like, the little outsiders still? Mm-hmm. That's just not later. April. Oh, wait. Oh, I I seen that. Nate. When my parents found out that we weren't reading the outsiders right now, they were actually really mad. Tell them in April. That's why I told them. Yeah, we'll get there. Well, I'm not ready glad that your parents were angry. <laughs> so then, for those of you who read it, Amir. Okay, we'll like we'll like the non-advanced kids read this book. So. The reason I wanted to know is I want to talk about ending of book. Those of you who did not read end of book, pay attention today. I'm going to go through and cover stuff with you to try and help you out. My goal today is I just want to cover everything that happened towards end of book and then make sure things made sense and then plus talk about the things that happened, the death of the guy and stuff like that. I apologize. He did not stay dead, but technically he did die. Yeah. Which we'll get to. Because I've gone off for five years. So we left off. So we got running, rocks. So now that you guys know what happened with the whole rocks thing, because when Jared talked about wanting something awful to happen to Austin, who was the only person that heard him say that? Cheryl! Cheryl. So and Cheryl and Randall. And uh, we'll get there too. And we had this. Ah, so this scene when Austin and uh, Jared were in the nurse's office, Bonding, we finally find out why Austin is being such a jerk. Why was he such an awful person to Jared this whole time? <coughs> the Jared, Jared's her emo. Did you say Jared is emo? <laughs> yeah, did you hurt emo? Not emo, no. Question, don't say emo. I'm actually not emo. Yeah. So uh, I think it was like because uh, he is the closest to him. The closest reason. to him how? Like Running. second place always. There you go. And what is it that Austin's trying to do? Go Get to captain. Olympics. No, Be faster. Olympics. Be faster. Olympics. Oh. And who is it that keeps pushing him? Jared. Jared. His dad. Daddy. His dad. Oh, yeah. And so no, that's no, where Austin's no, like, no. I could have been friends with you, but no, basically, Aust- and in the sequel that, that's out there, you meet Austin's dad, and his dad is a jerk. And so you find out that's sort of how Austin becomes who he is, is because his dad is not a very good person. So then... We have the scene where Mr. Green does the stupidest teacher thing ever. So Mr. Green finds out that who all is in the Shadow Club, and he wants to yell at all the members of the Shadow Club and calls in Jared, and he's like, Jared, I know you're responsible. It's time that we give you guys suspensions and do all kinds of horrible things to you. Here's a list of all the people in the Shadow Club. Who does Mr. Green send to get all those kids? Him. Tyson. Jared. So he goes, Jared, I want to yell at you and your friends. Here's a hall pass to go get them. Go out and get all your friends, then bring them back here so I can yell at them. And then run away. Yeah, so what does Jared do? Run away. What would any I kid do? Run exactly. Run so I'm like, Mr. I'm like, seriously, as a teacher who's like, hey, I'm going to give you a pass to leave my room, but make sure you come back so I can yell at you. And they're like, what? He ran away. <laughs> who saw that coming? And they all do. And they find each other. And they head to Stonehenge, except for oh, one said. kid that does not make it to Stonehenge. Oh, he's like, oh, he's oh, he's oh, oh. So, big ball. Here is where no, Randall is missing. And so, it's Randall me. does not make it to Stonehenge. And, no and this is when they do not set a fire because they're not celebrating. Now we're sad because we're all getting ready to get kicked out of school. Wait, wait, wait. And they know who has been framing them. Because who's been framing them? Tyson. Oh Tyson. So they know the big Tyson has been framing them. So they decide to go confront Tyson and force him to confess. And where are they going to find Tyson? At his house. And so that's where they decide to go track him down. Before they do, they decide someone has to go find out what happened to Randall. Cheryl. Now, Cheryl. Why is Cheryl the one chosen? Brother. She's, her, her brother. she's his brother. brother. I have people brother. who are still finding no, out today no. that Cheryl and Randall were brother and sister, and they're like, what? They have the same last name. He only said that in the book. I'm aware. Trust me, I was just as shocked when kids like, they are? And I'm like, where have you? So yes, Cheryl takes off to go find him. The other five sneak off to the lighthouse, and here's where they decide to... Break in. Yo, is that me? Break an entry. And they decide to start committing some crimes. Breaking and entering, and most definitely a crime. But then they decide to escalate it to a federal crime. And besides just breaking and entering, once they find Tyson inside, they tickle his feet. And tickle his 
No, you do not take over his <laughs> They touch him. That was your own dream last night. It's okay. And, and so, they touch him. what is it they decide to do with Tyson? Jump him. They jump him. Is it? They oh, break his stuff. Breaking and breaking. They kill him. Assault. They kill him. What? They they kill him. They kill him. They drown him. They drown him. They steal him. Not yet. Good job, Violet. They kidnap him. They kidnap him and drag him back to stone. And they start jumping him. That's once they dragged him back to Stonehenge. That's where the assault and battery comes in. We now have kidnapping, which is also considered a crime on top of it. And they say, you need to confess. Does Tyson confess? No. Not even a little bit. So then they decide to go, all right, if you won't confess, we're going to torture you into confessing. And so the first thing they decide to do is beat him up. Does he confess? No. no. Beating him up doesn't work. So they escalate him. it again. Tie him to a tree. Tie him. Tie him to a tree. Oh. Does he confess? No. no. Still no confessing. No. And then they drown him. Smash all of his marionettes in front of him while creepily staring him in the eyes. Does he confess? No. This guy is hard to break. It's like he feels he didn't do it or something. And so they go, all right, next level up. So they decide, you know what? We've run out of things to do here. Let's go to a new location. And the new location is one that takes a kid down to six points. Was it worth it? I wasn't even in the camera. I don't know. But was it worth it? Yeah. Okay. Well, as long as it was worth it. Wait, can I spend three points to have the camera? So where do they take him to? Uh, the one the beach. The beach. They take him down to the beach because the best way that you can celebrate breaking and entering and kidnapping is killing. Them little beach fun. Oh. And so they go for a little beach trip as they go down there. Waterboarding. And they start pushing him in. Oh, by the way, when you have a group of people who are getting ready to try and torture you, you probably should not give them better information about how to torture you because that's what Tyson does. He said, I can't swim! So as they're pushing him into the water, he's like, I, I can't swim. And they're like, <laughs> and he's like, oh, I, I shouldn't have told you that. And they're like, oh, no. And things get worse. Why does that girl kind of look like me? Uh, this one? No, the other this one. one? Yes. Like, I don't know. Why am look, I in that story? You look so angry. I'm Are you kidding? I'm off with the story, but I'm black. Wait, what's the black guy? Uh, that literally looks just like yeah, where is that. Like, it's that's supposed to be OP is what I was going He drowned it because he can't swim. Where's the black guy? He drowned it because black people can't swim. Oh, oh that is you then. Oh, yeah, I couldn't find a good angry black kid, so just use your imagination. Bro, you literally got it. Where's it going, Darman? You could have just took a picture So they get him into the water, and which he still refuses to confess. So, oh, Cheryl shows back up, and she found out where Randall's been. In the hospital. In the hospital. She goes, hey, Jared, you need to come with me. We have to go back to the hospital. He's like, um, honey, boo-boo, I'm kind of in killing someone right now. And she's like, honey, we have to go to the hospital. And he's like, ah, fine. So he goes, all right, the rest of you, I'm leaving you with directions. What does he want them to do? Kill him. Not kill him. Torture him. Don't confess. Waterboard him. confess. He's like, if he does not confess, then what do you do? Kill him. That's where the confession first, then killing. You can't have a killing, then a confession. That's not the way he does. So you get confession, if no confession. Then you go for killing. Wait, Violet, like, you read the book? Yeah. Do not let him. I know. Sure, Steve. Huh? You read the book? Teenagers doing what? Yeah, that's Who why do she you keeps saying. I am? I no, I was just asking because like, she was gone for like a good like yeah. month. Because no. obviously gone. the story had a big impact on her and she was sad. She had to mourn Tyson. I read it also. Mourn. Happens the best. Mal did not read it. I should have asked you from science to Isaac today. Me too. Isaac said no, Malik. Isaac Newton? No. Like, I've never but I remember that one part when kids kept yelling out in class and then saying, why are you taking my beep? Oh, wait, that was my favorite part. One, but two. Three, buckle my shoe. Oh. Oh. And so <laughs> he says, do not let him out of the water until he confesses. And then he runs off to the hospital to go find Randall. This is not the best picture because that's not actually what he broke. But I could not find he What did he break? His hip. His hip. But I couldn't find oh, a good picture of a kid with a broken hip. So oh, just yeah. imagine that's his hip. And so they confront oh, yeah. Randall in the hospital and go, hey, um, what you doing? And Randall has a really good reason for why he's in the hospital. And what did he do? Oh, he took off the backboard or no. 
he was playing basketball and he fell. He was playing. Wow, it's like only one kid read it to the end. He was playing basketball with who? With who? Um, the, oh, the, the rest of the oh, basketball. Jared. Jared. Oh, Eric, Eric, Eric. Eric, 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 Eric. He goes, Ron James. He goes, Eric Kilfile, Phil. Eric Kilfoyle and I were playing basketball and I fell and broke my hip. And Jared goes, Eric Kilfoyle? Interesting. We know Eric Kilfoyle because how do we know him in the story? He's the one that hates Darren and Darren hates him that the Shadow Club did the pranks with the paint and stuff like that. And Jared goes, you are playing basketball with a kid that you hate. And Randall goes, um, yes? And Jared goes, no. Tell me the truth. No. And finally, Randall gives up the truth. He was know? not playing basketball there. What happened? He was trying he to steal the, the basketball, the basketball court thing, thing, thing. He was trying to steal the basketball hoop, and that way he was going to try and he, steal it from Eric. Like a screw came loose, and like he fell, and then he didn't expect it. And then it fell off, and he went oh with it, God. and that's when he broke his hip, okay. and that's when they had to come and rescue him. But he goes, it's all right, Jared, hey, because who's going to get blamed for it? Tyson. He's like, I only did this because Tyson did everything else, and I wanted him to get the blame for this, too. The only he said the only reason they stayed there was because the neighbors heard him. There you go. Well, he was probably laying there screaming, which did not help things whatsoever. And Jared realizes, if you did this awful thing, and we're going to blame it on Tyson, there's a chance, wait a minute, and he thinks back to what's been happening with Sharon and Gerald so far. Cheryl and Jared, Cheryl. they've been doing their rizzing. And that's, by the way, if you're dating somebody uh, and you lie to them to get them to confess to a crime, that's probably not going to go well with your relationship, as we find out here. Because Jared has the suspicion that his girlfriend may have committed a crime. And what crime did she do? Kill someone. Oh no! Injure someone by planting a suspicious trap on the ground so he can front flip. But he knows that Cheryl won't admit to it, so he tricks her into confessing. Again, typically girlfriends don't like it when you lie and trick them into things. And he's like, "Hey, remember when you, um, you know, did the whole rock thing?" And she's like, "What? What? What are you talking about?" And he was like, you know, you did the rock thing. It was so funny. It was a good job. I'm so proud of you. She's like, okay, you got me. I did the rocks. I broke that kid. And he was like, oh, snap. Because he realized she did that. But who got the blame for it? Tyson. Tyson. So all these things that have been happening that Tyson got the blame for, who's been doing them? So it turns out the Shadow Club has been doing all of these awful things. Except for Jared, who's been innocent. Yeah. Violet. So basically he gaslighted his... Lit. More just flat out lying, yes, but it's probably a borderline no, gaslight, I guess. I guess it was kind of gaslighting when he was pretending that it was. Yeah, no, he was that. pretending he already knew. Also, things that girlfriends don't like you to do. Yeah, they gaslighting depend. is. Yeah, they do. No well, I mean, gaslighting is not really a thing, so. What's gaslighting? Well, in a way, it was. <laughs> <laughs> That's a joke, because it's in the same way. So then Jared ends up taking off and running back to Stonehenge, realizing um, what direction did he give the Shadow Club when he left? To, to, to make him get confess him. Make him get or a confession. Else kill him. And can Tyson confess? No, because no, no, he didn't do it. And he realizes, that's not good. When Jared gets back to Stonehenge, he sees all of the Shadow Club crying, and he's like, um, hey, what's going on? And they go, um, remember Tyson? He goes, what do you mean remember Tyson? They go, <laughs> We have some bad news. So it turns out when they were in the water trying to get a confession out of Tyson, they got a confession out of Tyson. Just not what they were expecting. Because he does confess to what? To burning down the school. Turns out that he is the person that burned down the school and burned down the school multiple times. This year, he's like, hey, um, I can't confess to the pranks because I have no idea what you're talking about. But I did burn down the school, does that count? And they're like, you put firefighters in the hospital and could have killed people. So instead of forgiving him, they keep him out in the water. They want and eventually, they play the best game of hide and seek ever. But they don't realize how good Tyson is at playing hide and seek. Because all of a sudden, a big wave comes in, and then they're like, Tyson, 
you're really good at hide and seek. Where are you? And they're like, Tyson? And then they see him flip. And all of a sudden, it turns out, Tyson comes back up like, found you. And they're like, why are you face down in the water, Tyson? And he doesn't respond because it turns out he's dead. And it turns out that they drowned him. But here is where OP goes, you know what? I'm done. I don't want to commit more than one federal crime per day. And I'm already doing a kidnapping thing. So I prefer not to have murder added to all of this. So she decides that she does not want to get a murder charge. So what does OP do? CPR kills him. And that's where OP says, you're going to live. And she does the <coughs> live, <coughs> live. And Tyson goes, I'm alive. And comes back to life. And she's like, oh, thank goodness. I'm not going to go to jail yet. And how does Tyson thank them for saving his life? He runs off. Chucks rocks at them and then runs away. And they're like, oh, that's how you thank us for saving your life? And he's like, you killed me first. And they're like, oh, yeah, oh, something about that. So then Jared decides, okay, I should probably go apologize because it turns out I've kind of been horrible to Tyson this entire time. How does kind of apologize kind of. for that? Probably should give like a little oopsie, a little oopsie poopsie. Um, and he runs off to find him. Where is he going to find Tyson? In the lighthouse. He's in the lighthouse. And it turns out Tyson was so upset about them trying to kill him. What does Tyson decide to do? He burns his house and the lighthouse. Yeah, the lighthouse. he was like, you guys tried to kill me, so I'm going to kill myself. And oh. so, how does he decide to try to kill himself? He burns, he burns up his lighthouse. And so here's where he sets the lighthouse on fire. Ty, Jared shows up with lighthouse on fire, and he's like, oh, snap, this is not good. So Jared goes running into the fire, trying to find Tyson, locates Tyson, and then does Tyson uh, come out with him? No. No, it turns out Tyson does not want to be rescued. Instead, Tyson makes it even tougher. And where does Tyson run to? Top of All the way to the top of the lighthouse. And, ooh, we found out what happened to Tyson's parents. Yeah, they died, they died, they died, they died in the fire. fire. Who set that fire? Tyson. Tyson. And so this is a thing that's not as important today, but back in the 70s, 80s, and 90s, when parents smoked more cigarettes than they do today, they would, you guys know what matches are, the little boxes? Yeah. Yeah. Kids would often find boxes of matches, and this happened way more often than you would think, and little kids, like we little oh, kids, would find matches, and they would sit there and play with them, and then woof, they'd get on fire, and then it would burn the kid's hand. They would freak out, throw the match down into carpet, and then carpet would go whoop, and then go over to the drapes, and the drapes would go whoop, and then the ceiling goes whoop, and then the house goes whoop, and everything is gone. And apparently that's what happened to Tyson, except Tyson's parents didn't get to run away. They died. And so that's what messes up Tyson and why he now wets his bed is because he had a lot of trauma as a kid. It's why he's now a pyromaniac because he had a lot of trauma as a kid. It's why he's messed up and living with his aunt and uncle because he had a lot of trauma as a kid. And now this other group has now tried to kill him, which only adds to his trauma as a kid. Violet. So his coping mechanism from his parents dying in a fire is to light more fires for people to die in the fires because he lit the fires because he It's was almost like people are messed up sometimes. Really? Weird. I don't know. Yeah. Who would have thought? I mean, this room seems so normal. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Brandon? It is. Doesn't make sense it's why not. he pees in bed, though. So a lot of times the peeing of the bed is just because when you are a really small kid and you go through bad trauma like that, it's just a defense mechanism that happens. Defense and so mechanism? I've had a number of kids who have been bedwetters that I found out about from like talking with parents is because they've had trauma. And it's just how the human brain reacts to it. When you get broken when you're small, it takes a while for the brain to heal. Emily? I understand one word from Violet and it was fire. Fire. Because she was saying the long words that I fire and oh Tyson does have one thing to remember his parents a the photo picture. In a, like, heart thing it's a little photo -y thing and then they both get up here to the top and Jared's gonna be dying because of the fire suit Ooh. the last thing Jared said to Tyson in the hallway at school when he was bullying him was bedwetter bed bed when they're in the fire what does Jared end up doing but wet, 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 w
I'm assuming is his way of trying to put out the fire. And he was like, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> and it didn't work. And he was like, well, that didn't work. But he tried. So then Jared and Tyson are both stuck up here. So how do they decide to live from there? Jump. Jump. So they decide to skydive without parachutes. And they're like, Wee! And they jump out. And then luckily, they don't hit water. They hit Duka, 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 Duka. Boom. Like but the weird. problem is, what did Tyson tell us like earlier? He can't swim. And, and so Tyson goes into the water and he's like, thanks, you saved me from fires so that I can drown. And so who saves him from the water this time? Jared. 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 Jared's like, dude, come on, and then saves him and they get out. And then we get to the end of the story where we burn the charter and everything is mostly good. And you get the beginning of the second book. And I will tell you a little bit from the second book because it's like in the first two chapters. Jared's parents end up adopting Tyson. Uh, and so he ends up going to live with him because uh, Tyson's parents, well, parents, are a little upset about the whole burning our house down thing. And then Jared's like, turns out you're actually not a horrible person and I'm a horrible person. And so he convinces his parents to adopt Tyson and then Tyson comes and live with them. But then something else really bad happens, which makes it for a really good book. No, there's this one scene where a kid ends up putting all of her stuff on top of her lap and losing points, even though the teacher had talked like the week before about how that would lose them points. And Tyson's like, why would a kid do that? For you know how this I know, for real, for real. Ava, what's up? Um, did Tyson's aunt and uncle die in the fire? Oh no, they were not home. Bro. They, mm -mm. they were still alive. Why are they so gone? Yeah, you should have read the book. She just admitted it. It's like, they said, you better hurry, get back before your aunt and uncle get back. And I'm assuming that was probably him lying to scare people off from trying to kill him, but yeah. you know how yeah. it is. Come back up. Mm -hmm. And any other questions I did not cover? It's no. Jared? Oh, so basically... And yes, now you can pack up if you want. Basically, when the fire happened, why don't you go into the fire to put the fire out? Because when you blow on the fire, like, oh, and the fire will like, die. 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 I yes. I see. Is the test going to be super, I need my super shoe. really hard? Depends. Did you read it? Yeah. Then you should be fine. Well, okay, definitely. Fine? If I would recommend to find out how easy it's going to be, that By the review sheet. at least scan through it. Like here, I describe characters or settings and the questions. Just scan through it, take a look, and as long as you can answer them quickly, you should be good. Like that one time, the kid said, can they get their shoe back and the bell hadn't rung yet? And I was like, no, because I'm going to charge you points and I don't give shoes back until after the bell rings. You know how kids are sometimes. What I do? Are the answers on there? Nope. The answers are in your head. All right, then how many kids do I have standing? Just four? No. Now can I get my shoe? Take off. Kids.